Beautiful weather here in San Diego. Dropping off my wifey to work. Happy weekend. It's Friday. Yay, yay. Good morning, San Diego. Good morning, ST. What's happening, West Coast? I love Cali. Good morning, San Diego. Good morning, ST. It's where we would ball up until the pandemic hit drive through is kind of crazy right now so I'm gonna have to walk on in we're here at the southernmost city here in the United States Imperial Beach retirement plan happy Friday Dropped off my mom at Costco. Didn't know she wanted to go to Costco. All right, we're back here at the liquor store. Not to buy some liquor, but continuing with the lotto pool retirement plan. Fortune Cookie says an enjoyable vacation is awaiting you. I sure hope so. Let's go. Just getting gas now. And got to pick up my mom. Got to my mom's, gonna make a quick visit real quick. But be ready for this thing. You might have seen this in the other video, but this might be making a comeback one day. It'll come back. All right, just dropped off my mom from Costco. So I gotta pick up the wifey now. All right, we here at Seafood City. Um, In-laws had to go pick up some, some groceries. I think they want to make some sinigang or something. In the meantime, I gotta stay in the car real quick and text my lotto pool for work. Let's go. Alrighty, been back for a couple hours already. But anyway, now I gotta do some meal prep for tomorrow. Watch this. Booyah, that was easy. Got to help out the neighbor real quick with the corroded battery terminal. Oh, this is a Nissan, huh? Yeah. Because I actually have a terminal that's semi good, but what do you I think? think it'll work. I think it'll work. We just got to clean it up, bro. I, bro, I took the the screwdriver mm -hmm. and I'm pounding it, pounding it. Yeah. And all the fucking um. It's so embarrassing that it looks so dirty because you're a mechanic. <laughs> nah, I've seen worse, bro. Don't even trip. So we don't have no actual battery cleaner. So we'll try this. Penetrating lube, see what happens. Just kind of let it do its thing, let it penetrate. Yeah. So yeah, when you put the battery on, um, back on, just let it idle. Mm -hmm. Radio off, steering wheel off, let it idle for a good 10, 15 minutes so it could learn the, the base idle, you know. That's just how it is on these newer cars. Because if you don't, then it could, you know, have a low idle, the car can stall. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know. Okay. He went on a fiasco finding a battery because <laughs> H Street Costco didn't have it. So Damn you, H Street. Broadway. I went all the way. Then he went to AutoZone. AutoZone tried to sell them Duro Last <laughs> that don't last. Can't even return that shit. They'll say, Lago, it's a brand new battery. Costco, you just return it. They don't ask no questions. You don't need to say, oh, it's because of this. No, nah, here, I'm returning this. That's it. Let's just hope the policy doesn't change. Somebody from Costco sees this, they're all, oh. <laughs> No, we gotta change that. So yeah, when you put the terminal on, make sure you're in there good, nice and snug. Mm -hmm. And don't be an animal and crank this thing like it was a like a suspension bolt. <laughs> Cause then you'll you'll really tear shit up. Let's just hope it grabs. Cause you said it was pretty corroded, right? Yeah. So see I'm holding the ratchet all the way down here. Yeah. So I don't have soup like crazy leverage. Mm-hmm. See, that's good right there. See how you can't move it? Yeah. See? Good to go. And the negative. We could clean that up later. I just got to find some cleaner. You know baking soda also. Oh, yeah. baking soda? Yeah, baking soda. Like anything acidic or whatever. Yeah. So I just slap this on top? Yeah, that's a little protectant for to prevent more okay. corrosion. 
It looks like yeah, lube. It's lube. It's lube. <laughs> Lubrication is the key. So yeah, even motor oil, uh, like an uncle once said, you know, you can get a little bit of motor oil to, if there was like corrosion, put it like on the rag and wipe it up and it'll take the corrosion off. So you hear that folks? Motor oil will work too, but you just don't want to go too crazy. You're just using the motor oil to take off the corrosion. You're not going to leave it on there. Don't go cray cray. Don't go cray cray. Damn, man. Good job, bro. You sure you don't work on cars? Look at this guy. He's left the battery on. That's my side job. <laughs> now, now, let's just hope your alternator's not going out. How, how old is that battery that you changed out? I don't know. You don't know? He doesn't even know. You don't even know? Okay, if you guys don't know if it's been recent, then it should be good. Okay, so now, let's say tomorrow or three days from now or whatever, like the battery starts dying again, pumped, then you yeah. know it's the charging system possibly. Or there could be a parasitic drop, but that, that's another story there, but usually it's all the yeah. So yeah, so for your coolant overflow, that's not really the coolant level of the radiator. You actually have to look at the radiator. That's just the overflow bottle. So as the car gets cold, or like it's that overnight, coolant goes back to the radiator via vacuum as it cools. So when it gets hot, as the coolant expands, it'll go more to the max. Gotcha. So when the brake fluid goes low, that's usually an indicator that your brake pads are starting to get worn. If your brake pads isn't worn, then that means you might have a leak somewhere. So it doesn't just run out, you know. The car's off, level surface, so. dipstick in, back in. After wiping it, you pull the dipstick out, all the way in, right? Yeah. Oh, that's what she said. Okay, <laughs> pull the dipstick and then level it out. Oh, straight? Yeah, horizontal. Like that? Yeah, there you go. It's hard to tell. Uh, it's too clean. So L for low, H for high, if you're in between these two dots you're good if you're underneath the minimum dot you're too low if you're within there you need to add so up here is um you want to be at the last dot mac topped off that's topped off yeah if you're between those two dots you're good way past the h that's too much you're a little bit past the h but yeah you're good <laughs> Okie dokie. I put your golf clubs away already. What'd you guys do? You guys play a game? Did y'all win? I you won? For real? No, I'm not surprised. Hey, this spot looks familiar. All right, we're here at the infamous Zion Market, drop, dropping off the fam. They're gonna go pick up some stuff, hopefully some short ribs. We actually ran into a car meet, so let's go check it out. Ooh, got an Evo over there. Here we go. Old school, I don't know what that is. I didn't know there was a car meet today, but Let's see what's going on here. There you go, our bell. Some more motivation for your build. What happened to this Evo right here? I don't know what they got the uh, Tiffany theme going on. Got a Miata right there. Miata. Tesla right there. This is actually the car meet I was supposed to hit up today, but didn't get a chance to. Over here at Zion Market, dropping off the fam. And here we are, cruising by the car meet. Right, looks like it's Korean market day. We, we just left Zion. Now we're here at H Mart. I don't know what they're picking up. How is it, girl? We good? Oh, you know what that time is again. Turf and turf. Iron Chef Iron this is back. Anyway, hope you guys had a good one. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.